I am Dr. Anand Kishan, a consultant neurosurgeon at Vaidehi Super Specialty Hospital. Head injuries are generally used to, uh, due to road traffic accidents or due to falls. Young children and people above 65, it is uh, falls which cause head injuries commonly. And in other people between the ages of 18 to 65, it is road traffic accidents which is a very common cause of head injury in India, in our country. We have to remember that unlike other organs in the body, the brain cells and the spinal cord cells, once they're damaged, they don't regenerate. So they're gone forever. And so it is extremely important for us to avoid head injuries, prevent head injuries and try to salvage as much of the brain cells as possible. Because once it occurs and once the damage is done, it is done forever. Various measures can be taken to prevent accidents and head injuries. To prevent falls for elderly people, it must, we must make sure that in the places where we stay, we have adequate lighting to see that we don't trip and fall. Then for, you should have proper railings in the staircases and have uh, children protection uh, guard rails and all that or even grills near the balconies so our children don't fall off the balconies. And such prevent during sports, we must take the adequate precautions. At the workplace, you got to take precautions like wearing the helmet. And the same thing when driving, we should take precautions like wearing a seat belt in the cars and wearing a helmet while using two wheelers and even uh, biking. And also, in one of the most important things you must remember is not to Drink and drive, alcohol is a no-no as far as accidents, to prevent accidents, it's very important to see that we don't drink and drive. And at the same time, you should also remind, remember that a person who's exhausted or very sleepy should not be driving because it's asking for trouble and chances of head injuries or, or accidents are very high. Any head injury, head injuries can be mild head injuries, which we call as concussions, or they may be moderate and even severe. Mild ones are where the loss of consciousness is not more than 30 minutes and the patient recovers with some confusion and other things. Whereas moderate head injuries where the loss of consciousness is longer than 30 minutes and if it is severe, it can be even up to more than a day and so of unconsciousness. So based, the commonest injury is concussion where patient recovers but can have some consequences. But we must remember that any patient who has a trivial injury also can go on for later complications. So we have to remember some symptoms like persistent headache, confusion, memory disturbances, vomiting, repeated vomiting, and so on. And of course, any change in the sensorium of the patient. That is, if the patient becomes drowsy and thing, that means these are all ominous signs which indicate that the patient has to be taken to a proper doctor and evaluated to ensure that no serious head injuries have occurred. It's extremely important that they are investigated and evaluated by the proper concerned doctors.